Strong rally on Wall Street today. The Dow Jones Industrials gained more than 50 points to yet another high of 3280, and the trading was heavy. And still on the economy, some indication that the Japanese investors in this country are becoming disenchanted with investing in American real estate. Case in point, the sale of the Pebble Beach Golf Resort in California two years ago to a Japanese businessman. There is word today the deal has gone sour, as apparently have many others. Here's ABC's Gary Shepard. Pebble Beach was considered a trophy property when Japanese developer Minoru Isutani paid $850 million to acquire it in 1990. After failing to win approval to sell private golf club memberships for $750,000 apiece, Isutani has now bailed out, taking a $350 million loss. Isutani is one of many Japanese investors who have been burned putting their money in America. In 1989, Mitsubishi paid $1.4 billion to buy controlling interest in New York's Rockefeller Center. That investment is now worth one-third less. A Japanese group paid $110 million for the Bel Air Hotel in Hollywood. Now it's worth less than half that amount. The Japanese own nearly half the major office buildings in downtown Los Angeles. Their value is down 25 to 30 percent since they bought them. They tended to buy properties at a point in time when they were at their highest value. And as a result, all the projections for values were very rosy. Nobody thought about the bubble bursting. A survey released today says new Japanese investment in American real estate plummeted to only $5 billion last year from $13 billion in 1990. The loss of the additional capital coming from the Japanese had a negative impact and contributed to uh, the decline in commercial real estate values through most of the country. It's not just the Japanese who've been hurt by making investments here. Americans have also suffered losses. But with less Japanese demand, it may be years before real estate values return to their once lofty levels. Gary Shepard, ABC News, Los Angeles. In other news today, the woman Mike Tyson was convicted of raping, says she was offered a million dollars to take back her story before the trial began. In an interview with Barbara Walters to be seen on 2020 tomorrow night, Desiree Washington would not say who made the offer, but she also said that if Tyson had come to her before the trial and admitted that he was wrong and needed help, she would have dropped the charges. The sex researchers, Masters and Johnson, are getting a divorce after 21 years of marriage. He's 76, she's 67. They say they have different goals for the balance of their lives, but they'll still work together.